This new AI agent is absolutely insane and terrifying at the same time. What if I told you this new AI agent can now control your browser, code tools, scrape data whilst you sit there drinking coffee. Plus it can manage and interact with an army of other AIs. And here's the craziest part. This AI doesn't just control your browser as I'm gonna show you today. It's like a tech magician. It spies on competitors, downloads files, builds AI tools and automates boring tasks you didn't even know could be automated. And it can literally research better than any human. Along with that, it can create and generate high quality content that is non-AI detectable. I'll show you exactly how I did that later in this video. Plus all the prompts, techniques, SAPs and tools you will get for free from today's video. Let's get straight into it. All right, so what we're gonna do from here is once you're logged into abacus.ai, then in the bottom left over here, you're going to select computer agent. Now computer agent is basically what can control your browser, go off, search your web and run all sorts of tasks for you. Now you can select between different bots. Now just so you're aware, that does take about a minute to load. Just be aware that you might have to wait like 30 seconds or so before this is loaded. One of the best things about this is a lot of people worried about how AI agents can use your browser or control your laptop. And a lot of people are not comfortable with this. So using the computer agent, which looks like it's using com Claude computer use, you can basically access this instantly inside a virtual environment, which means that it's not going to start playing around with your laptop or anything like that. So for example, you can see the workspace here and it's got all these icons open for terminal, Claude. Now you've got a bunch of test prompts right here. So we could test something like find and download an image of Machu Picchu. And you can see it's walking you through the steps here. So let's open Firefox, click on the Firefox icon click on the address bar and search Machu Picchu. All right, and so basically any sort of task that just requires internet access, you could give to the AI agent and then that can go off and do whatever you want it to do. So you can see here now it's actually downloading and saving the image. This is interesting as well, because now it's not just actually interacting with the web, but it can also download files in that virtual environment, right? It's not saving it directly to your laptop, is saving it directly to the virtual environment over here. Let's try something else now. So what I'm gonna say from here is go to juliangoldie.com forward slash contextual hyphen backlinks, scrape the headings and save it as a JSON file. One of the things that I would say is like, some people here will be like, okay, why can't you, for example, just use Claude inside the terminal? But the problem with that is it's a lot of work setting up the terminal, making sure it works, going back and forth with it. And along with that as well, you have to pay for the API and the usage of the API each time. Now you can see the AI agent has navigated to my blog page. So this is a blog post, contextual backlinks on my website. You can actually interact with the browser if you click directly inside, but obviously we just want the AI agent to do that itself. And based on the scraping, I've said, okay, what are the main headings to use for an SEO article, right? Based on that page. And it's given me a list here. So let's just make sure that's correct. So for example, it's given us the main H1, which is what our contextual backlinks. And if we go on the page, we can see that is the main heading. So it's not just hallucinating this. Let's go to the main sections now. So for example, what are contextual backlinks? That is the main title, right? So it actually is looking at the page, analyzing our headings, for example, H2s, H1s, et cetera, and then automating the process that would normally take us quite a lot of time to figure out who are our competitors, what are they using for their content and how are they structuring the article? Super easy and fast to do. We're very easy to automate using computer agents, right? And so a lot of people are not fully aware to the use cases of this, but let's say, for example, you want to analyze your competitors, create and automate SEO outlines based on what's already ranking. Content, I'm pretty sure that because you're using Claude and the API directly from Claude, not only could you, for example, ask it to scrape your competitors, figure out what's already ranking, but on top of that, you could actually ask inside the chat, not just to create the outline like we've got here, but also to create the article or to create like different parts of the article as well. So for example, if we say now the introduction of the article, we'll see what that comes back with. And then whether based on the previous conversation, whether it can actually figure out the context and write the article based on that. And now we've actually got the introduction as well, right? It said, here's an introduction, Alex Almozzi style. And let's have a look how that performs. So it's actually done like 200 words for the article already is want to know why 90% of websites are invisible to your customers because they're missing the one thing that Google's algorithm craves more than anything else, contextual backlinks, right? And so that article intro, pretty nice and probably better than you would get from ChatGPT. But not only have you automated analyzing your competitors, you've also automated the content outline. You've briefed the AI on exactly how you want the content to be written. And then you can also automate the writing of the article, which is better than what you're going to get from say ChatGPT or something like that. So these AI agents are actually super powerful and very useful if you know how to use them in the right way. Not only that, my friends, 
because if we actually check the content itself inside something like zerogpt.com, we can see that actually the content comes out at only 12.9% AI generated, right? And if we actually remove the first two lines of that article where it's been highlighted in orange, it comes out at 0%. So this content can easily come out at 0% AI generated using AI detectors, which is pretty amazing in itself, right? So not only is the content automated, the outline is automated, you can easily reverse engineer your competitors. You can easily figure out what are the best headings to write based on what's already ranking. And additionally, you can also make sure that your content is non-AI detectable. Pretty powerful stuff if you ask me. And you don't have to go through the whole mess of setting up terminal and going back and forth and downloading all the dependencies, etc., which is quite messy with Claude computer use. That's why I just don't use it anymore. So now what I'm going to say is go to my YouTube channel, scrape the titles, video durations, publication dates, etc. And basically what I think this AI agent is super powerful for is creating content, re researching and just automating those boring tasks that you no longer need to do. Anything where it was just a game of clicking buttons should be automated with these AI agents. Now, bear in mind, this is the worst they're ever going to be, and they're only going to improve, which means give it six months, give it 12 months. How crazy are things going to get, especially when ChatGPT Operator comes out this month? Now you can see it's navigating to my YouTube channel, so it can open up YouTube as well and interact with it. It's looking through the page, so it's scrolling through, and now it's come back to us. And I know some people are going to laugh at this because I see it in the comments every day. So let me pull up what it's replied with. So it's actually broken down the most recent videos, which is super useful. Like again, competitive research is amazing. And it's broken down the name of the video, which you can see right here, right? So it's got the title perfectly, got the duration down, publish date, etc., views, etc. So it can easily figure out, okay, when are things published? How long is the video? How many views, etc.? And also what are the titles? Now, not only that, but it also analyzes key patterns here, right? So for example, it analyzes like typically, and this is why I was laughing before. So you can see here, it's identified that we use insane and free in capital letters, as you can see, focuses on AI tools. That's right. Figures out, okay, here's the typical video duration for most of his videos. Here's his upload frequency. It's actually quite scary how well it analyzes your competitors and then figures out the patterns that maybe some humans, number one, wouldn't be able to identify, but number two, wouldn't have the right structure to break it down and understand it in such a clear way. And then it also breaks down our strategy. So it's right, it's, here's what they're doing, right? So daily uploads, similar title structure, focusing on free tools, videos optimized for a certain duration, consistent branding and thumbnail style, right? That is a better analysis than some YouTube strategists. I won't name any names, but some YouTube strategists out there have come back to me with. And the fact that it's so well formatted is absolutely awesome. Now. You don't have to do this for YouTube. It could be for social media. It could be for any social media platform. It could be, for example, analyzing someone's sales page or their blog copy. It could also be for analyzing, for example, anything where the AI can just look at the screen, analyze what's going on, find the patterns, and then structure the report for you perfectly is exactly what these AI agents are so powerful for. All right, so let's take it up a notch now. What we're going to do from here is we're actually going to get our AI to interact with another AI and then build some stuff out, right? And then we've just got robots talking to robots and you don't know where this is going, right? But I think the world is gonna look very different in 10 years. So I'm gonna say, go to Llama Coda, build an SEO cost calculator, download the report and open, and then return back the code from the tool. I'm also gonna say, be patient plus be prepared to wait for it to load. So it's navigating to Llama Coda, which is a free AI tool for coding. I've got a few videos out on that already if you need some help on that. And now it's beginning to prompt the AI. But what you can also see, I don't know if you had time to see that because it did it so quickly. But basically what it did there is it figured out exactly what needs to be inside the SEO cost calculator before it prompted the AI so that it could create the best possible cost calculator it could. Now the code is generating and we're just watching AI interact with AI right here. And then from there, it should be able to preview it in a second. So it's analyzing the code. And if we go to the preview section over here, now you can see that it's actually created the tool, right? So the AI has created the tool that has been built out. Now I'm going to say, give me the code and see what it does. Some people at this point as well might be asking, how do you get Claude computer use to actually interact directly with your browser? I actually have a video on that if you just search Julian Goldie computer use, you'll see a video where you can actually launch a tool in terminal to interact with your actual computer. 
not inside a virtual environment if you're comfortable with doing it. And it tells you exactly how to host it as well. So it's like to use a calculator, you'll need to have a React project, install the UI, place a file in your components directory, import and use it in your application. So absolutely wild what you can do with this. And there's so much potential to this. I think we've really only tapped the surface. Half the battle here is training your brain to figure out exactly what the AI can do and how can you use it in a practical way. So thanks so much for watching. What I've actually done is put all the prompts and tips and tools from today directly inside my free SEO course. If you scroll through this course, it actually has 214 lessons, tips, tutorials, and prompts that show you exactly how to do SEO with AI. On top of that, if you scroll down to the AI agents section, as you can see right here, and then scroll to computer use, you will be able to get free access to the video notes from today. Link in the comments description. And additionally, if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session that shows you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business a month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales and autopilot, feel free to put that in. On this free link building acceleration session, you'll get a free SEO domination plan, discover the secrets of SEO link building, we'll answer any questions that you have, you'll learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to quickly outrank your competitors to link building and how to 10x SEO traffic based on what's working for us. This is a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session and normally you would pay thousands of dollars for a consultation like this. We're just giving it away for free to help you. Cheers for watching. Thanks. Bye-bye.